Good afternoon, everybody. This is David Hood with TigerNet inside Clemson's Poe Windor practice facility. We've finished up our uh, Monday round of interviews coming off Clemson's 59-10 to thrashing of Florida State. A lot of the talk not about this week's opponent in Louisville. Clemson has opened up as a 37-point favorite. I just looked at the line. It's still around 37 points, which is an incredible number. A lot of the talk, uh, of course, centered around Trevor Lawrence, around Amari Rogers, the defense, Christian Wilkins, you name it. There were some pretty funny moments that came out of it, though. Trevor Lawrence, I noticed Saturday that when he got ready to leave the field that he had a two-man highway patrol escort. And I said, is that something new? He said, yeah, Tracy Sweeney, Dabba's brother, who kind of does a lot of the security around the football team. Apparently, there have been a lot of throngs of people uh, at away games. And Trevor says, you never know what's going to happen. Of course, the first couple that the Highway Patrol stopped, Trevor's own parents. And he said he had to tell them, hey, those guys are OK. I can talk to them. That just comes with being the quarterback of what is the number two ranked team in the country and maybe being the most recognizable guy on that team. Amari Rogers was talking about Trevor. And he said that there was a time early in camp where he was running an out route. And he turned around, and the ball actually hit him in the helmet, bounced off of his face mask. He said he'd never seen it. He said Trevor gets the ball out quick. Sometimes he has to tell him, maybe not so hard. There was a graphic that popped up on the screen during Saturday's game. It said Trevor throws the football 61 miles an hour. That's incredible. He gets it out so fast, less than one second on some of those screens. The receivers have had to adjust. I also asked Amari about leadership. Who's the talkative guy? on this offensive team. And he said, really, there isn't one. Nobody steps up. He said, but I don't feel like we need one. Everybody kind of knows what their job is. Everybody knows what they have to do. There's enough veterans out there. Maybe Hunter Renfro is a guy that would speak up if he had to. But he says, we just don't really feel like we need it. Now, let's talk about Brim Venables. He was asked about Christian Wilkins and the joy that Christian brings to the game. We saw that Saturday when Christian carried the football for a one-yard touchdown plunge. And Brent said, look, Christian's always happy. He brings the joy to the football field. That's what makes him a great player. He said God blessed him with that. He said, but there's times when Brent wants to set a tone at practice. He wants to be angry. He wants to put the guys on edge. And then Christian Wilkins will come up. And as Brent said, pinch me on the booty. And he said, I want to go Christian. There's a time and a place for that. This is not that time and place. But it's hard to stay mad at Wilkins. Come some fans, of course, going to miss this guy after he leaves after this year. Now, looking ahead a little bit to Louisville, Humpson's players just now really getting into film study. Of course, Brent Venables knows all about Bobby Petrino, the off offense that he runs. Jawan Pass is going to be a little bit of a challenge for this Clemson defense. But you get the feeling from talking to the players and coaches today that, once again, it's all about Clemson playing Clemson this week, not worrying about a point spread, not worrying about an outmatched opponent, just worrying about taking care of what they have to take care of. It's obviously a new game in Death Valley. Not sure what the energy is going to be. Outmatched opponents, so they've got to bring their own juice. This is David Hope with TigerNet.com. We'll have more tomorrow after Dabba Sweeney's 11 a.m. press conference. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube videos at TigerNet.com.